Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? And welcome back to the 23rd Let's Play of F122, my team. It's the start of season 2. We're gonna be building our team, building our new new car for this season. Basically rebranding ourselves, adding a bit of touch. I'm not gonna go full crazy and completely switch it up. It's gonna stay similar. This should be some sort of continuity from last season. And the progress we have made looks good. The car looks good. The car looks better. Performing is better. To be honest, I'm, I'm overall pretty excited what this season have. The upgrades that we have coming in could take us up to the top of midfield. By, by a few weekends, we could be up there fighting for at least podiums or maybe top fives. That's our goal. That's what we want to be. And we're developing the car. And now, guys, you're going to see the car being developed. The whole team building now. So, yeah, guys, let's see that. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to be starting the season with a lot of, lot of resource points coming in. Putting a lot of R&D development into the car. Suppliers, upgrades are coming in. We want to work on... We want to work... Nothing much to work on aero-wise. Harbor train, I do think EC... Oh, a bit more points. Lewis, Hamilton or Max Verstappen. These are my potential rivals. Are you... I'm in a midfield car. Okay, let's go Lewis Hamilton. Why not, guys? Why not? Lewis. Yes. I'll beat Lewis. Sure. The department wants me to pass on their Open thanks up. for helping out. Okay guys, so it's gonna be the first quality session of the season with a brand new teammate, a brand new car and a just starting fresh, you know, completely leaving that last season behind us would be ideal, I think. I generally do believe the car is gonna be better, it's gonna be more competitive and we just need to be more relaxed and get those performances in but be confident that the car will be able to get them. Yeah guys, here we go for our first quality of the season. Let's go. First lap as well. Let's go. Car overall is looking pretty decent. There's more upgrades on the way. So the car will be definitely improving in the next 2-3 races, I believe. We're still lower midfield, which is not ideal, but we do seem like we would be improving. So I'm happy with that. The development parts that are coming in are looking good as well, guys. Compared to last season, there's a definite improvement in the car. With more confidence, I can definitely stick around those fast sweeping corners. Much, much more confident with the car. Downforce is definitely there. Let's see what time we get. Fastest at the moment, 129.2. That's not. That's okay, I believe. Water as a slower. We we want to be Q2 minimum, I think. Q3, we still don't know where our pace has. It's just the season opener, so it's more of all about just finding what works for the car. How do you handle it? It's a completely new car. Guys, we made it. So has Alex. So that's pretty nice to see both cars into Q2. Maybe Q3 is also a possibility for us. I don't know about Alex. He's still uh, trying to find pace in the car. Yeah, guys, pretty good Q1. Okay, guys, we're going to be starting our first lap in Q2. Uh, Q2 was the realistic goal that we did want to go in and then see what we can do from there. And we did that. Now it's about just finding about the raw pace we have in the car. It's a bit heavier fuel run to be honest. But it is what it is. Guys, here we go. I might get a tow here from Lando Forest. Oh, 
Okay, we need to just go to the good set set of bank up. A oh, bit of bit of snap and counter lock had to put in there. I'm finding more uh, confidence on the track now, more grip. Uh, if this is not a solid lap, I'll, I'll reach out my battery for one lap and do it again. One twenty nine. Not bad. Seventh. We're close to McLaren. That's the one can go. I think guys we might have got it because we found a lot of traffic ahead of me that could be a big problem. Let's see. Magnus and move out of the way. We are improving and quite a lot to be honest. The fresh set. We have found a lot of time guys. We have found almost half a second on a second run. And we're gonna be across the line. P6. P6 guys. So that's gonna be our final run of Q2. And let's see if that will be good enough for Q3 or not. Guys we are through to uh, Q but Alex isn't able to quite make it. He's starting 15th at the moment. We need to improve and book some work on our second driver. But overall, P3, we don't we mind that. We like that. We like that. Months of rumor and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position. Edging out Lando Norris, he'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Leclerc, Carlos Sainz, and Ricardo, Fernando Alonso, Vettel, Golden Boy, and Max Verstappen, Ocon, Bottas, Pierre Gasly, and Sonoda, Albon, Magnussen, Mick Schumacher, and Daniel Ticton, Stroll, Oscar Piastri, Joe, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today.
A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as once again we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. I think one stop. I think one stop is going to be the faster strategy as well, guys. One stop. Be short as well. Should be good, I think. So we start on the formation now. We're starting P9. Oh. Vettel and the Red Bull, guys, by the way. Have they noticed that? And that's lovely to see Vettel back in Red Bull. The race pace has been looking pretty solid of this car. It's not a quality merchant, thankfully. Anything would happen, so there are points up to stake. We want to get as high of a position as we can. Pace, I don't know how great the pace is at the moment. I expect Bahrain to be a mediocre weekend. The upgrades that we have coming in are coming in a bit late. So after Jeddah only, we will see the cars real progress. Right now, we we're there. I think we can fight for points, but can we really be that top midfield team at the moment? No. Soft for Alex, that will be nice to see what that strategy can do. Starting P9, I think I'm starting on the right side of the grid as well. We can go around the outside, go for moves from the start. Pretty excited, pretty, pretty excited. Yep, pretty good parking as well, guys. It's going to be lights out at the start season opener. It's going to be five red lights at the Bahrain GP. And we are going to go five red... Oh, well, I'm saying shit again. So, guys, it's going to be the start of the season opener. It's going to be five red lights. It's going to be lights out. Oh, if he... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, we're going to send it. Absolutely send it. Oh, where the red oh. Where did that red bull came from? What VSC as well? Guys, gonna be five red lights at the season opener. At Bahrain, it's gonna be lights out and away we go. A good launch for me there. Already attacking on Sebastian Vettel in the red bull. Trying to go toe and toe. And we're gonna go for a big dive bomb into turn one. Can we get a lot of damage at the back? That's a VSC that looks like a VSC. Oh. What a start. Because I, as you can see on the on board from Mick, he goes in the back of uh, Dan Dictum and gets a lot of debris on the track. That's going to be a BSC for sure. BSC then, Nick. Can Maintain we get a jump? We get the green flags. BSC ending. Wait for the Here we go. I'm gonna try and go for attack Russell with a lot of battery here. We're up to P4, we've made a lot of positions. To do a good start and we got a jump on Vettel as well. We're a bit defending rather than actually attacking Russell at the moment. Not great. I generally do want to attack Russell for the podium places. Get our oversteer.
This will be the real test of this car. Can it keep up pace with the Mercs? Oh, Russell got a real good exit there. Made a mistake. Slight. Oh, yellow flag at the back. Oh, there's a massive, massive pilot. This is gonna be a safety car. This is a safety car. This is a safety car. If I've ever seen one, massive pilot. So guys, Max is up in an Esteban Ocon, going uh, side by side into turn four. Can they make it? Max tries to go down the inside. Ocon goes on the curb. Max pins it. Uh, Esteban crashes into him. Then he. Oh, that's a big pileup. That's a massive pileup. That's a safety car. A lot of cars in contention. A lot of cars getting DNF. Lance, Kevin, Nicholas, Zoe are out. That's a massive, massive. That has to be a safety car. I think, guys, we're coming in this lap for sure now. So, uh, everybody's joining the safety car. We're definitely coming in this lap. Safety car in this lap, yep. There we go. I'm gonna attack Russell, try to attack and go for into turn one. Let's see what we can do. Let's get ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember there's no overtaking until the timing line. Safety car in this lap. Gonna be aggressive, it's gonna be green flag running. Guys, we're gonna be running back. Oh, Lando's keeping this rally. Oh, we're going for it on Russell, guys. We absolutely have made the move on George Russell. Can we do it on Hamilton? Can we do it on Lando Norris? Whoa! We have, we're in the lead of the race. What the hell? At the moment, we're leading. On that massive dive bomb, uh, Lando left the room and we went for it. We went a bit deep, but we were able to uh, recover from it because I think Hamilton and, uh, and, and, and Lando were scrapping off. As we're trying to overtake George here, and we're up into P3 with a good slipstream. We're going to go down the inside. We go very deep and we go into the lead of the Bahrain Grand Prix. Let's go. We are leading the race for the first time ever in this game, guys. Let's go. Uh, I don't think I have the pace to be leading this race. I'll try to hold him off one more lap. Ableton thought of that going there, but there was really no chance of that happening. Oh, look at that straight line speed. I'm sure they fixed it. Nope. Oh, we're gonna be three abreast. Holy. There appears to be an issue. We're currently investigating. What? Stop. I'm leading the race. What do you mean there seems to be an issue? What do you mean? Man, please don't. I don't want this to be a nightmare. Tires really... Oh my god, I really seem to be struggling with tires. Okay, looks like a mechanical failure, but we're gonna have to ask you to find a safe spot to retire. Man, this is bullshit! What the fuck is this? Uh, what? Uh, that's pain. That's our Grand Prix over early. Wow. Okay, so the car behind's just come in. They're now sure. on a soft tire. Wow, guys, mechanical failure of the season opener. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That really hurts. Brilliant stuff from McLaren today. What a superb victory. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. And look at that, they're making their way out onto the podium now. Great race from the McLaren team and I'm very happy to see them there on that top step of the podium.
So let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. Lando Norris takes the lead of the Drivers' Championship. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Oscar Piastri gets my vote today. Let's move on to the construction. Guys, no points for us from Bahrain. Um, what a saddening. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. So be sure to join us for the next one. Okay, guys, I'm going to be ending the let's be a pretty short one <laughs> uh, in terms of race. Early, early mechanical failure. What was it? I just uh, doing IC. IC bursted. That's great. No, wow, that shows our durability, but we have them, okay, I guess. Uh, we were good, uh, I, yeah. Next, next, next weekend, guys. Uh, pretty, pretty heartbreaking, this one. But we have the potential to be up there fighting for podium, so that's nice to see. We're going to be in Jeddah next weekend on, which looks exciting, guys. So let's see you in the next one. Peace.